Hey y'all, Rochelle here, your delightful crafter. Um, I've tried recording this twice and karma keeps getting in the way. Uh, I know a lot of y'all enjoy seeing her, but her being up here is going to make it hard. So I'm, I'm going to try to share everything. If not, I'm going to have to give her the skedaddle. Anywho, if you're new to my channel, welcome. I hope you stick around to spell. If you like what you see, please hit that subscribe button. Ding that bell next door if you want to get notifications of my future videos. Thumbs up, likes, always appreciated. And any questions or comments, please leave them down below. So, this is um, a tonic order. This is an order I have been waiting for for a while. Y'all know how excited I was getting about the up, up, and away, you know, the hot air balloon uh, showcase. It arrived today. I actually got two orders in today, which surprised me because I've been, you know, I used to place like a bunch, like as soon as something would come out, I would get it. But, uh, you know, I haven't really been doing that. I'm sure you guys have noticed there haven't been like tons of tonic hitting the channel uh, like it used to. But uh, anywho, this is, I'm excited about this one because I believe... Uh, th it was running a, you know, like their weekday bundles or sales or whatever. And, um, there's some stuff in here. Like, seriously. So, uh, let's get started. Um, I'm gonna try and scoot her. Y'all know how she can get. She's a little, she's a little, a little boss diva. And I've been at work all day, so she wants to be wherever I'm at, no matter what I'm doing. So, the first thing I'm going to start with, because I haven't seen this before. Now, this is this is going to be a I think this is going to be a long video. So, I'm just preparing everybody. As of right now, I don't know how long it's going to be. Um, she's already here inspecting. Y'all know how she gets. She's a nosy little girl. Um, so, I ordered this on the 12th. It got here today. Uh, remember, um, the up, up, and away was supposed to be in April, but because of all the shipping delays across the country and around the world, it didn't make it. So then they didn't know when it was going to get here, but then they sent an announcement out that you could purchase it on the 12th and they would start shipping on the 18th. So I'm pretty certain that's what they did because that was what last Thursday and I got here today Tuesday so anywho this first item it's a bundle and this was called the which one is this the 928 this was called a mystery bundle and it had a bag in it <laughs> I think I was probably more excited about the bag than anything else even though everything else was pretty good too it's just a you know a regular little tote bag nothing exciting but it says eat sleep craft repeat what you think karma what you think baby girl hmm she's watching the screen a lot of y'all know I'm always watching stuff on YouTube when I'm recording you pretty baby. You got stuff to say? Hmm? Believe it or not, she she talks a lot. When I get home and I'm downstairs, she's always carrying on a conversation with me. Oh, this bundle that I'm showing you was $25.19. Now, that is with my tonic discount. Um, so, it was probably like $27.00. Because it's 10% and 10 of 20 something. So, yeah. So, yeah, something like that. All right. So, for 20 my $25.19, I get a cute bag. I get these awesome um, stencil brushes. But you can use these for all kinds of projects. And I have a few sets of these. But I have a dresser. And a vanity I'm getting ready to have my husband take into the garage that I'm going to strip down, um, do whatever repairs they need, and they're going into my daughter's old room. And I'm 
contemplating some stenciling and if so I'm gonna use those it came with a set of aqua flows and this is the woodland walk and so these are the colors sliced kiwi yellow ochre and caramel pecan so I think uh, some of this I'm gonna gift to my sister uh, I'm gonna reach out to her and ask her and then I'm probably gonna throw together a and I love you like one of those flat rate priority boxes and send some stuff her way because I know she was really interested in these um, Aquaflow markers, so yeah. It included two glitter markers. And we have um, Urban Graphite and Peppermint Cream. And they're sh different. There's like a darker and a lighter shade of green. So there are those. Oh, a lot of glitter markers in here. We have a glitter marker in the color Fired Brick. I know I'm going to give that to my sister because I've got a couple of these. And then there's this set of Northern Lights. I think I only have one set of these, so I'm going to keep this as a backup. And these are the colors they don't say. It just says Northern Lights. Oh, so the pur it's Purple Passion... Venetian Jade, and, well, let's take a peek and see. Um, a raspberry Tart. So, and this is what they're supposed to look like when you put them on paper. Do you approve, Karma? Hmm? Okay. We... Have. This is all still the same mystery bundle. We have an embellishment mousse in the color mint tea. So it's a really nice um, light shade of green. We have a glacier paste and this is golden era. This is a really nice one. If you're doing like um, Art Nouveau or... Um, not Art Nouveau. What's the word? Um, is it Art Nouveau? No, it's not. The 20s? Why can't I think of it? Y'all know it's one of my favorite uh, styles. I can't think of what it's called. Uh, art Deco. If you're working with like Art Deco stencils, this is really pretty if you're using it on like a black cardstock. Really, really pretty. Love this. So, still on the same mystery bundle, we have, I think I'm probably going to give these to my sister's sister as well. We have um, piercing glitter in the color Night Fever. So this is like a great one if like you want to do like Halloween, like you want to accent that purple on the witch's hat or you, you know what I'm talking about. We have uh, Desert Sunset, <clears throat> and this is like a holographic gold. It's got a, uh, the glitter has a color shift in there. And then we have Glitter Drops in the color Sugar Plum. So I'm going to say about half of this is going to my sister. And then um, Nouveau Flower Pollen, which I'm always happy to get a hold of this. Uh, we have it in the in the coal uh, the coal the color um, formium bronze and yes that's how you say it formium and then purple heather. So if you're wanting to add textures to like if you're doing uh, flowers and stuff like that, um, this stuff's really good. You just have to like dip your cardstock like if you're doing the stamen of a flower, dip your cardstock in a little bit like I'll put a little bit of adhesive on one of my glass mats and you just dip it just a little bit and then dip it in the pollen let it dry it gives a really nice um, extra effect to your project um, I love texture so awesome so all of this came in one bundle and it was $25 well 
like I said, I think the bundle was 27. They've kind of gone up with the inflation that we're under right now. Um, we won't get me started on that. But, so there's all of that. I'm going to move this on over. Yes, I'm making a mess. I'm going to save this one for last. Because that's what I'm most excited about. Um, I ordered a 12 by 12 cardstock bundle. And this one was $13.47. It is a 12 by 12 classic cardstock. So it's the textured cardstock. And I believe it's in your basic color. So I think it is. So it's the, come on. It's the jet black. So you get two jet black, um, two of the ivory white, and two of the bright white. And I like, um, I do scrapbook. I don't do a lot of scrapbooking, but I love 12 by 12 cardstock for when I am doing my large 3D projects. Um, the big houses I like to do. Um, because you just need them because some of the pieces are huge. <laughs> uh, so all of that was $13.47. Again, that's with my tonic discount. <clears throat> subscription discount. So there's that. And I'm not going to take this out of the box. But I ordered two of these. And this is a storage. Um, it's called the... Palermo Creative Storage Project, and I got two of them. They were $14.85 each. Again, that's with the 10% the discount, and I want to say they were probably supposed to be $30. A, I think they were supposed to be $30. They were either $30, between $30 and, or $50 and 60% off, I think, but it's these guys. And uh, you build it. Of course, it doesn't come with the pattern paper on it. You decorate it the way you want to. Um, but I thought these would be some nice um, storage pieces either to use. Because I'm going to be redoing my desk. And um, I'm looking at changing things up on my big craft table that's behind me. So I got two of these. And the two of these together cost me $29.70. So I got two of those. And they're going to stay in the box till I'm ready to take them apart and um, decorate them. All right. Well, I guess this is going faster than I thought it was going to. That's awesome. Okay. What I am the most excited about. This is showcase number 24. Again, this was supposed to be April. But we got it in May. And this is Up, Up, and Away check it out I love hot air balloons love them and uh, look they even have it uh, put together so you can um, make it like an ornament if you want to this one they added uh, clear acetate because you know some um, balloons they have the flags that are uh, in between the balloon and the basket so this, uh, the showcase was uh, $40.50, again, but again, that I had a 10% discount on that, so I can't remember what it was. Anywho, I love them because they always come in a, um, a nice sturdy pocket sleeve um, with holes so you can put them in a binder. They come on a carrier sheet. There are additional stamps if you want to stamp on them. Or um, they come with different decorations so you can decorate them. Um, layering cardstock, which is something I love doing. And so it looks like it comes with two designs. This one kind of, like I said, kind of has an Art Deco vibe to it going on this one. And actually, if you look at it, to me, it kind of looks like a tulip. You see it right there, the leaves, and then it comes up. So, 
I, I, y'all, I, I can't even. I have been, when I saw this in the magazine, I was just drooling. So, I will try to find some videos if there's any out there that will show more samples of the hot air balloons. But, um, I believe the way that they're put together, you can have it where it opens up here at the top portion of the balloon or possibly pull it apart here, the, the top balloon from the basket to put your treats in. This is so awesome. Oh. But anyway, one thing I like to do when I get these, I always keep these, um, the, the, the clear um, packaging that it comes in. I have one drawer in my craft room that is strictly dedicated to holding um, any of the clear packaging that I hold on to and um, extra acetate that I hold on to because I always hold on to the acetate, uh, especially like, uh, let me open this up and show you. If you're a new crafter, I highly recommend this because acetate can be expensive if you're just you know trying to buy it for a project. Most, especially with tonic, all their dyes come on an acetate sheet. It is a decent, it's not super thick, but it's not thin, um, but it's a good quality acetate. As you can see, um, they have double-sided, it's foam, so double-sided foam. So what I do is after my videos are done, I sit there, I take... Um, all the dies, I put them on the magnetic sheet that comes with it in the showcase. And then um, I there, I have a couple of uh, uh, smaller ones, uh, uh, pieces of acetate. And what I do is all of these that come, you can, if you're careful, you can actually peel this foam tape up. And then I put it on those carrier sheets that I'm using. And I put another piece on top. And if I'm going, because as you can see, it's very thin. It's not super thick like regular foam dots or dimensionals or stuff that we're used to using. So if you're wanting just a little bit of dimension on something or a lot, you know, you can stack it up. Or if, you know, you like, like I said, I recycle um, what I can. This stuff works really good. So, um... I will say it's not as sticky as like regular foam squares. So, but you can save this. And then if you take a good, like the craft tacky glue or the art glitter glue or the barely arts glue. Um, the other one I use, oh, is the Scott's Scotch 3M um, craft tacky. I think it's called. I don't have one near me right now. Uh, put a little bit on here and you've got yourself some some uh, dimension for your project so I'm just saying if I can recycle it I'll recycle it I'm not one of those um, people that like <laughs> sorts everything and all that but when it comes to crafts because we all know crafts is an expensive hobby um, if it's something that I can reuse reasonably um, I keep it and I do reuse it. Um, and it, it, for the most part, it comes off pretty easily. If, if you're careful and you get it started right, um, it just peels right off and you put it on another carrier sheet and you're good to go. But, it, you know, if, you know, sometimes when you pick them up and the adhesive sticks, well, you, you might as well just stop it there. But, anywho... So yeah, we have the different piece, the uh, decorative panel pieces here. I'm going to say, I'm going to say this one probably is this piece here that tucks up underneath the top of the balloon. Um, you know, like I said, save this adhesive or this acetate because you can use it like they're using here in the picture with the, the pennants and flags on it you can cut this up and get the same effect. So, I I want to play with it this, oh, and this is something else. I love about this. Look, complete instructions. It tells you how many of everything to cut. So, um, you need six of each of these panels. You need, how funny they sent me two. 
Um, anyway, six of each of those, one hexagon. Uh, personally, I would do two hexagons because I would put um, a finished piece on the inside and a finished piece on the outside, but that's just uh, how I'm picky about that. Um, because like I said, you can use this. Oh, I love it. They're using magnets. In this image, you see they've got magnets on there. So that uh, you can put the top on, it'll stay on and not blow off. That is awesome. And I just bought some. Um, is it gray? Basic gray has really fantastic magnets. And uh, so does <clears throat> Tonic. Tonics are really good, but I'm going to be um, honest. Um, I buy the basic gray because they go on sale. Um, or at least they used to go on sale quite often at Joann's. And um, they're basically the same magnets. They usually come in two sizes. So like there's this size and there's one that's uh, probably half the size of these for like smaller projects. Um, I, I have lots of magnets uh, and they're thin. You can't see that in there, but they're thin. So they're really great for um, mini albums, uh, project, you know, just like projects like this. So it doesn't take up a lot of weight. It's not super bulky. I'm going to have to find the website. There's a website that I buy um, not magnets from, but they're super thin, like wafer thin, um, just metal discs and if you're stingy or I should say frugal <laughs> uh, depending on the project I will use one magnet and one of those metal wafer discs um, because you don't have to have two magnets because technically this is what uh, one two three four five six uh, twelve so there's six pairs in here but if you have the magnets and it's just the uh, if you're paper layers aren't too thick technically you could get self uh 12 projects out of this instead of six and there's a guy that i buy him from online i bought a whole bunch so i'm gonna have to go like dig way back in my emails and um remember where i bought them from because i bought when i ordered from him i ordered two sizes and I think I ordered like 400 of each, so I would never <laughs> have to order them again. Um, even though when I do mini albums, I use lots of flaps and magnets in there. Still, 400 of each and then magnets, it's going to last you a craft lifetime. So just saying. Uh, these were on sale on the Tonic. There was a bundle, like a set of three. And the set of... I, I, I've sent them a... An email to their customer service because the other tonic video or tonic order I got in I ordered this bundle and uh, this bundle for some reason there was only one in the bag and there were supposed to be three sets of these and it was $17 that's actually a very good price because on uh, Joann's if you find these they're usually, and like I said, it's the basic gray, the same quantity. I think you're looking at anywhere from 8 to $10 a pack before you find them on sale. So just sharing that little tidbit with you. Anyway, I reached out to Tonic. Um, they are always really great with their customer service. So um, I told them that there was one. I checked the whole order. And the other two weren't in there. So I, I'm sure, um, I'm hoping they just send it in my next order. Because sometimes I feel bad if they just send that. It's, to me, it's a waste of money. But anywho, so all the, the showcases come with assembly instructions. And here they even show you an option if you want to make it uh, look like a decanter. Or an urn. Or however you want to do it. <laughs> I think it would be fun because um, this is just, they're just showing the base panels, but if you took like these pieces here 
and cut out the design and then lined the inside with acetate and then filled it with treats, hey, anybody's going to love to get that. So that's it. Um, it is finally here. I, like I said, I have been drooling over this since um, I got my Tonic Number no. 3 magazine. And, um, oh, I guess we need to look at the magnets, or the stamps. Give me just a second. All right. So the stamps, um, so if you want to add some, some swag on there, um, if you're not wanting to die cut, but you just want to stamp, um, you can stamp like the bits and bobs of the basket. Uh, these are some swag that you can put on the top portion of your balloon. And then we have, let's see, um, let's go on an adventure and a special delivery. Enjoy the ride. Thank you. Thinking of you. Just for you. And sending you lots of love. And I really like the font. Great size for cards. So you can use these on cards. You don't have to use them on this project. Um, I, I love, Tonic is really good at that. They try to, um, a lot of the stuff they put out, some of it will coordinate with other items. Or it's something that you um, are able to recycle and use in other ways. So, that's it y'all. That is my tonic haul. Like I said, technically it was one, two, three bundles, and then two of these. So technically I ordered five items and got all of this. So there you go. Any questions or comments, leave them down below. Um, like I said, feel free to always shoot me an email. Um, I've had one person let me know that they will probably be interested in the uh, leftover house mouse after I'm done adding to my collection and uh, yeah so email me if you're interested in that because even the I even the stamps I'm not gonna add to my collection there's some fan still some fantastic ones in there so I'm just saying if you're a house mouse lover like me just saying let y'all go. It's time for me to start heading to bed. As always, happy crafting. Love y'all to pieces. Bye-bye.